a lower back injury and since this whole uh, season is based around getting pain of the MVP in maybe his last season uh, we've decided that would go into a sim part here to go past where he's better from his injury uh, what we're going to do before we start that is we're going to go to roster go to Bradford put him on the trade block he's got two years on his contract if this doesn't go to plan it's not going to upset him the following season I don't think so we're going to go with add to trade block Now, seeing as this does slow um, saving and stuff after each thing and things are going to pop up, it might take a bit of time to, to get there. So we'll just, <coughs> we'll just sim and see how we go. Quickly have a look at these. Not too much though. Barnes doing pretty good and Bradford doing pretty good without Payne's touches, so I oh know. Maybe I'll take him off. We'll just see what he can do, I guess. So Westfall's doing well as a starter in the sim in the sim part as well, um, like because I was doing really well with him as a starter playing, but he's doing pretty well as a. Uh, or is he on the bench? Can't remember. He's doing well anyway, and so are we. We're on some sort of a run here. <laughs> Whoops. So, with potentially the number one pick in the draft that we have, uh, Lionel Horton, he looked a bit different to what I thought he was going to do. I thought he was going to be black with cornrows. I don't know why I thought that, but I did. One of the better play markers, markers, makers in the draft, should definitely be a serviceable player for years to come. He's not a great three-point shooter, but I suppose we could work on that in the off-season. So he's 78. That's a pretty good rookie number. Um, since the very beginning of 2K16 and, and to now, like the last... I don't know, 10 plus seasons outside of a couple of decent players, the draft can be quite weak and even sometimes the number one on two picks are sort of around 74, 75, so <coughs> he'll turn into a good player. He's 72, which I'm probably not going to go for. Uh, yeah, that's that's who I'll go. Having said that, that's decent rating. Decent rating there. And then it sort of just trails off there. So yeah, this is just another one of those drafts. He's a big boy.
These things do take up a fair bit of time. So I think I'll get to the end of this week. I'll see if the award race is on. Uh, we will check that. I suppose we will check all of them, I guess. Thirty two. Oh, Storm Maker, thirty four. Bradford's doing a lot better now with some more touches off the bench, so, hmm, and so is Barnes. Oh, that's what I was going to do, I was going to check the award. So we've got all-star voting there. We've got two players in contention. And still no award race thing that's come up. Let's have a look at the mock drafts. Ooh. There's no guarantee either that these will actually, be, these will be two or three as well. They might be two and two and four, two and five. Right. Oh, Pazingas come on there, showing that he can still play. Big, big win there by 17 points against the Lakers. Hamry with a double-double. It's pretty interesting stats with a bit of touch, more touches. And um, Barnes there with 9 from 9 from the foul line. <coughs> It'll be interesting to see. Oh. Oh. You were undecided for quite some time. Um, so, we'll start the conversation. Promise an extension. Sometimes this glitches and you sign him and then he complains that you didn't want to re-sign him even though you have re-signed him. Not a, yeah. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna say no to that. <coughs> As he's coming on to like a 75, 76 overall, to get someone of that caliber, um, that's not sucking, not whinging as of yet, and um, you know he can be someone who um, next season. Might take some minutes off Pazinga's retiring and uh, is very serviceable if like Westfall goes down or Ox goes down. So um, that was a no brainer re signing him. We, we just can't lose at the minute.
I'll just have a look at this. Hmm. Nah. And we lost. See if we've got. Normally says, it normally gives you. Oh, Gary Owens is uh, mm, very interesting because I don't remember him having a. Oh, I sure am, mate. Uh, it's just simming, um, just simming, the four to six weeks that Cecil Payne's injured. I'm not really playing a game. So, you just joined us, Zarka. We're on a massive winning streak in that sim period. Uh, once that c cursor keeps spinning around, or stops spinning around, I should say, we had a massive big stretch there uh, with Payne injured. Bradford's come on uh, with more minutes and more touches and actually playing well. Barnes is playing well. There he is, another another strong game there by Bradford with uh, Cecil Payne out. Do I play games? What do you mean? I'll see if I can get Pizzinger some more minutes. It is his last season, and we've got a scenario where we possibly could give him more than that. Uh, I might take two off. Might take two away there. And all of a sudden, we can get him his 22. Just like that. That's what I was going to do. Do you play the PS4 games online? This is literally the only PS4 game I'm playing at the moment, so... Um, uh, what was I doing? What was I doing? <clears throat> Rookie, there we go. So... Nelson Forrest was someone we were targeting in that in that draft, um, and we obviously went with first of all because it was more of a need than another shooting guard with Bradford, um, Alice Barnes, and Norm Anthony. Sort of, there was no way a shooting guard would have worked there. But um, wouldn't say he's having a hell of a season as a rookie. Uh, yeah, I do have GTA 5. I uh, haven't played it that much of late, but yeah, I do have it. So, some more Considering he's tipped to go three, I should actually have a look at him regardless of the fact that there's not a big difference in his height and wingspan.
Oh, mate, give it a rest, would ya? <coughs> I think you've earned me considering trading you. Stop being a sook. You're 38. Well, I can't trade him because he's got the no trade clause. Unless I trade him to a team that he wanted to go to. That actually is a pretty good deal. I'm getting someone better than Pazingas, who's got 10 years, he's, he's, uh, he's junior, and Cardinal's better than Forte anyway. Hmm. He's probably going to say no. Wow. Bazingas is gone. <laughs> That's a bit diabolical, Smith. You said you were going to get Bazingas to, to retire a nugget, but I was I was just tired of his shit. It's absolutely tired of his of his shit. Probably regret that at a later stage, but Oh, Strickland comes on. Strickland comes on and, and has a 23-1, one on one game. Ho, ho, ho. Another big game from Strickland off the bench in scoring. And he's pretty efficient. Was that Hamry with 16 or 15 assists? <coughs> well, we're here now, back to where he's recovered. So this is going to be very hard now because Strickland's now come into the fold. He's now hot. <laughs> um, and somehow I need to get paying his minutes. He's sitting there saying zero minutes, but at the same time, that's not going to happen. So um, I'm going to have to play around with these, these minutes, guys. Um, Alice can go to 25. Westfall can go back to 20. Uh, Strickland can go to there. Go to Ewing to 8. Bradford to 25. Uh, Hamry to 
28. Pena to zero. And all of a sudden we've got Payne back to his 28 minutes, just like that. So we're going to just sim one game. We're going to just sim one game now that he's back because I want everything to save. I know that is ticking over saying it's saving, but I don't believe 2K16 sometimes. So <coughs> uh, Norm Anthony there. Strickland, that was such a great move. That's That was such a great move. Um, I know it probably wasn't... Um, What's the word I'm looking for? It probably wasn't the ethical move to make based on, you know, saying earlier on in in many, many videos over the last however long that Pazingas was going to retire um, a nugget, but things change. Things change, and that's just how it is. So... Um, Let's have a look at Timothy Bradford's stats. So he's done better. <laughs> he's done better since Payne was out. Now Payne's back, so... Um, the touches will go away there. I want to have a look at this boy. Uh, where am I doing? What am I doing? <coughs> we'll just have a bit of a gaze, see what. This Strickland guy is all about. You don't really see that ever um, in 2K where you can swindle a better player for someone who's 37 overall, especially when they're retiring at the end of the season. Um, I feel I got away with one there. That's why I did it. He's got some pace for a big guy. Ooh, weird, stro weird quick stroke. Oop. Okay, hit that. He picks up his... Okay, yeah. So it takes a while for him to actually shoot it, but then he slingshots it. So it's weird. It's very slow stroke, but then quick. So yeah, it's not as easy as Bazinga's to score. Not that I really ever use Pazingas anymore.
I suppose what this does is with two first round draft picks that are probably going to go in the in the top four or the top five um, and where my roster is, this move with Strickland being 27, I wouldn't say he's is it 13 or 14 mil that he's on is, is too unmovable. Um, I can't see myself moving him on this season. But if... If we could move him and some pieces for a stronger positional player that we might need at a later stage, then um, that was the right move to make. And unfortunately, Pazingas just had to go. There we go. Wow. Wow, wow, so I moved 37-year-old Pazingas for someone who's ranked two for the most valuable player currently. That's insane. Because of our uh, standings, if I, if honestly, if I can get um, Cecil Payne to around... Um, 16 points with sort of across the board stats and um, you know we'll pr we probably will get that there's there's my old boy Gurevich and my other old boy Russell Cheers, mate. Sleep well. I can't believe that. I cannot believe that. Let's have a look at some of his stats before. Wow, he's put. Oh, he was putting in some, some decent games there. Some, yeah. Oh, twenty rebound game. Well, he is a good Jonathan Knox security piece. If Jonathan Knox ever goes down with an injury, that is... I'm really happy with that. I'm really, really happy with that. And we'll play him up against his old side um, with an actual playable game. Uh, so, yeah, we'll just leave it there. <laughs> 